Some wine. Let's My name is Paul wine. Hinchberger. I'm Brian Hinchberger. And we're the Wine Brothers. We're the Wine Brothers. And uh, it's the first time I've done that introduction. It was a really good introduction, Paul. Thanks. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> um, so we're uh, we have some really exciting, fun kind of wines from Portugal that we don't typically taste from this zone. Um, it's basically called the Vinho Regional uh, Lisboa. So you think of Portugal, sorry, Portugal on the side of Spain. And you have Porto about a third of the way down, and, and Lisbon about a third of the way up. Mm. Halfway in between the two, so really halfway uh, in the middle of the country, from Lisbon there's a region that kind of extends upwards, and at the top of that region is a DOC, a really cool small DOC um, called um, Encostas Dare, Medieval de Arraima Encostas Dare, which we're going to taste one of those. But all these wines come from the general Vinho Regional, Lisboa. Um, this is uh, Quinta do Montalto. Um, Montalto is a fifth generation estate um, in this zone and they started back in 1880 but they carry on traditions that is very particular to this zone uh, from medieval times. It's really really exciting. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah you oh, just wait Paul, this is, this is cool uh -huh. stuff. I and don't know anything. Location wise, they're kind of in between a little village called Oran and uh, Fatima. Uh, which uh, is like the, back in 1917, there was uh, this holy thing, these children saw the oh, Blessed yeah. Virgin Mary, and, and uh, so, so it's kind of a relic type, a place that you go and visit and, and pay homage to and whatnot. They're very close to this area. Um, yes. They work with all indigenous varietals, certified organic estates, and we're first starting with the uh, Fernal Parish. Um, Fernal Parish is a local white grape um, and, and, and these don't necessarily say shushes at the end, but in Portuguese you have to shush a lot of things. So this is the Fernal Parish, um, and this is natural fermentation, um, in fact not temperature control whatsoever, done in old, old um, like 550 liter uh, French barrel, um, and spends about two months after fermentation is complete. To, to make this wine. Super small production, really cool. Paul, what's happening? Like really tropical esters, mm, wow. the pineapple, um, lychee, mm. and mm. it smells um, viscous. Like, I know that isn't technically possible, but like, um, it smells like it's gonna be like, it's just have humanly a lot of impossible. To it. <laughs> no, it does, it has this, um, I think, Almost, uh, you can take all that fruit, throw in their their equating blossoms, mix them together yeah, up right, in your nose, and it and it really kind of comes across as viscous. Mm. Mm. That's nice. It's, it's not overly cool. viscous on the palate. No, no, it's not. It's uh, it actually has some drive to it. Not mm. super high acid or anything. No. Uh, but cool. There's a lot of flavor. It goes on forever. Um, mm. This this grape is kind of fun, and in fact. As I start to kind of get into the next wine, because the next wine takes the most story. Um, okay. So don't rush me, Paul. I don't mean, rush me. Okay. So this now is what they are famous for. Um, in fact, so Carlo, Carlos Santos is the winemaker, um, but but the family that has been there for five generations uh, is pretty pretty exciting stuff. They actually helped this area get a DOC, and it's called Medieval de Rhyme and Costas Dare. So what this is, Paul, you ready? Since medieval times, like 1100, this wine has been made in the exact same way. No, no um, uh, technology is used to make this wine. I mean, okay. as much as, and oh, there's a little asterisk there. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the wine comes in, they have this small little room for the fermentation and for the, the wine making. And in the wall, there's a little window. Vineyard is just outside, t really dense planting of vines. The white wine comes in. This is 80% Fernal Parish. So the white wine comes in. It is pressed off the skins in an old basket press in this cool trough. Um, I've got some pictures to, to show here. And the wine comes out this little hole, and it is filtered with a wicker basket. 
So it just runs through a whisket, wicker basket so any extra things are caught. Yeah. And then that juice goes into old chestnut barrels, hmm. ranging in sizes, and they fill them 80%. Now, Trincadera, it's a native red varietal, it comes in, they have a big tub thing where they have like a washboard that sits over top and they hand the stem, they scrub, they scrub off of the, the stems, the grapes go through and natural fermentation happens and about four days later they press and they take, they take that juice and they top off the barrels. So 20% Trincadera, 80% Fernal Parish. Uh, stays there for about two months, mm. finishing out fermentations, and then it's ready to drink. Now here's the asterisk, is because while they're waiting to bottle, they might throw it in stainless steel, you know, before the bottling process, and back then they didn't really have the bottling line and blah 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 blah. Yeah. But this wine, <laughs> it's like a light red meets rosé meets white, like it's not, I, I don't, there's no classification that's perfect no. for it, but it's geeky and nerdy, and t tell me about it. I would say it wow. tastes like a white, and smells like a red. It's like very earthy on the nose, um, mm -hmm. and mm. kind of like uh, that soil, damp soil type of thing on the nose. And then on the palate, it's more that um, lemon lime uh, berry ball, though too. There's berry ball. There's you know when you when you pack a bunch of berries together and make a ball. It's a berry ball. Ah, but the, the, the earthy yeah. nose is the earthy nose, awesome. Yeah, really good. So this wine, I mean, it's mm. this is the DOC. There is a DOC built for this wine because it's this ancient process huh. that they have always continued to do. It's pretty cool. Not wow. many people make this wine. Yeah, They're not really findable or around, but if you see one of these, it's super cool. The label has like the old castle medieval look to it. Um, <laughs> the label even kind of shows shows like the whole process with the wicker basket, the, the, all of it, the, the cool. scrub tool, it's really cool stuff. And then the labels all like, looks like a castle. Did you say that? <laughs> no, no. I was wiping wine off my nose that I, yeah. I it, it happens, <laughs> it happens. So now, now moving into um, the Maliata, the Vigna de la Maliata. Um, this is kind of a cool little introductory line for the estate. Um, the label is fun, it, it kind of pays uh, respect to all these really beautiful old tiles that the family's collected forever, and you walk around the estate and there's these old tiles on the walls. Oh. Um, isn't this nose fun? Yeah, really cool. So like 50% Trincadera, uh, that grape again, 30% uh, Castellau, and then 20% Alicante. Um, and no oak aging, just done in stainless steel. I love, I can smell this wine Forever, it's got that savory, beautiful quality to it, along yeah. with some fruit, but like pure fruit, but at the same time earthy. It's a really cool, well balanced nose because it has it's like the earthiness, but it's not. Um, but it's not as pure fruit versus like oxidized fruit or, or like totally uh, dried fruit or anything. Well, and there's just so much. The the, the palate is really interesting. It's got. Mm. It's earthy and fruity and kind of dirty all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Dirty in a dirty in a dusty way, not like a not clean way. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Like in a non a sound wine way. It's sound. It's a sound wine. Yeah. I mean, it sounds great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So funny. So the the Vina <laughs> Vina Damalhada is this beautiful, really cool expression of some of the local grapes done with no oak. Really, just kind of showcasing the the fun fruit. Um, isn't that fun? Yeah. So now back into the Sepapura line. So Sepapura, uh, I didn't know, mention this with the Fernal Parish, um, but Sepapura means like the pure, the pure grape. Uh, these are all 100% varietal expressions. And this is Torriga Nacional. Torriga Nacional being the famous, famous grape kind of of Portugal, really prominent in port. Uh, prominent in Douro Reds, um, prominent in the Dao, and I mean, really, you see it all over. But we're in a totally different area, totally different zone, um, which is pretty cool, um, you know, to taste Tariga from different parts of Portugal. And this has its own character altogether. Uh, spends about nine months in, in barrel, in French and American mm -hmm. wood, um, uh, used, not, not overly used, but a couple years old. Uh, what, do you, what do you get on this one? I, I want to say mango. Like there's some sort of like interesting nose note on it. It's very uh, floral and delicate. Um, 
you have another Tariga Nice Now um, trait that was like darker and, and more dense, but this is like prettier and, and um, well, just a very different expression. There's a lightness. There's a, like a lightness on the feet. Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. Like if this if this had feet, you know, if this could walk around and, and, and do a little dance, dancer. this would be doing ballet yeah. straight up, mm -hmm. like the Black Swan style. That's what I think of when I think of ballet. Um, <laughs> don't you? Anybody? <laughs> no? Okay. That, that means that we don't know ballet. That's probably the problem. That's true. <laughs> I know Natalie Portman. Yeah. We go way back. <laughs> this Tariga is gorgeous. It's, it's, it's got so much. It has fruit, but it's also, it, like, it's dainty. It has, like, just a really nice lift on the, on the palate. Mm. It's clean. Good, good aromatically yeah. fun. Well. These are all you know natural yeah. ferments. Uh, you know low SO two. In fact, I mean I think most all sulfite is used after uh, initial and malolactic fermentation are finished. Um, it's really clean, very pure wines. Mm. Now for the Aragonese. Um, Aragonese, believe it or not, is Tempranillo. Uh, this is uh, another. So if you go up north in Portugal, it's called Tinto Rorish. Um If you head over into Spain, it's called all sorts of things, Tinto del País, Tinto del Toro. Uh, but in this part of Portugal, it is known as Aragonese. Uh, it's kind of fun to say. It looks like Aragonese. Um, and I love this wine. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Mm -hmm. There's so much depth and breadth. To like the like the, the broadness on the nose for me. Mm -hmm. I, I love the aromatics actually of all of yeah, the Montalto sure wines. The aromatics have been fantastic all across the board. And make sure when you're drinking wine, I'm just gonna throw out this little like tidbit of life. Um, when you're drinking wine, stick your schnoz in there. Like really get deep. Your nose picks up so much more than your palate, and it's so refreshing and fun when you have you have good wine to sniff. Oh, do you get peaches in this? Yeah. There's like, like grilled peaches. Grilled peaches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really, yeah, it's like juicy peach, yeah. along with like kind of this, and with like brandy, like a peach blackberry cobbler. <laughs> cobbler. That's a, that's a tubular co cobbler. Uh, and there's like a, a bramble, a blackberry, raspberry bramble to it. Um, kind mm. of a similar, you know, very pure fruit, like this one was. Wow. Pure fruit and the earthiness at the same time. It's wow. It's really, really cool. Yeah, juicy. There's a lot of juice in this. Like, the acid is in check. It's, it's good acid. But the juiciness makes me kind of just like salivate a little bit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With a little bit of grip. A little Tannins grip. there, there's a little structure there. Definitely. This is cool. Uh, really cool. These wines are so much fun. I mean, like I said, very central Portugal, but closer to the closer to the sea. Um, Quinta do Montalto, they, they really have some extraordinary wines. All of these are aromatically stimulating, uh, cool things. And they're doing some amazing historical, like, bring back. You know, this is way throwback, that medieval day rhyme. Fun, yeah. fun things, indigenous grapes, clean winemaking practices. Enjoy these wines. Cheers. Cheers.